were just kind of wondering, in general, what are your kind of opinions on the war right now? Where is it safe at? Well, realize this, if we're freedom fighters, you know, we're, we're, we're trying to, just to you go into my work secure area, this for the people that live here. On the left. Well, you I know? We want to be free. We just area. want to be free people. We want to live free be able to, to work our fields and farm and, and, and do our jobs and have normal lives without living under tyranny. And, and this coalition has brought tyranny to us. They won't even let us be sovereign. We want to be a sovereign nation. However, they continue to kill our people. I've talked to several civilians that have been detained. Uh, they're tyrannical. And then uh, just another question. As we were coming in the first time and you guys asked us to come back, we saw some civilians being detained and brought in. Can, can you tell us a little bit about what was going on then? Sometimes uh, there'll be enemy combatants dressed as civilians, and we have to make sure that they are who they say they are. Uh, otherwise, we risk blowing it for the whole entire nation. Okay. And then uh, just one, one more quick question. Uh, as, as far as your opinion goes, how has the war been going so far on your guys' side? We are severely outnumbered. And it's been very hard for my people. However, we are strong-willed and of good spirit. We will not give up. We will not give up until we are free. All right, well, I, I want to thank you for your time. Uh, we're going to go ahead and head out. We're going to try and get some more coverage. Uh, some other areas on the battlefield, but we thank you for your time. We thank you, and just one well, that last thing. If there's any way at all that you could get help from anywhere around the world, anybody that would have sympathy for me and my rebels and my people, please make them understand that all we wish to be is free, to, free people to live the way we want to live outside of the borders of the tyrannical government that this coalition represents. Thank you. Our territory, territory is in shambles. This was a peaceful territory. Oh, guys, watch out this side. I want peace back. No unarmed okay. civilians should be shot at any time. Up the hill. Fire it up. Roger that. We'll deal with this. How do you guys feel about your recent victory over the enemy? He just got eight. technicals left and right. We're gonna have to come in here and let you guys get an interview with our celebrity killer right here, Paul. Oh, that, yeah. Um, I'm asking you guys to step away from the area. We're having yeah. too much hostile activity going on. All right. We have a firefight. We're gonna have you guys go this way. All, All right. right. This way. Technical. Technical. Far, far. Are we rolling? Yeah. Awesome. So, sir, is it okay if we ask you some questions? Is, is it okay if we ask you some questions, sir? Hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm with ZNN News. Okay. All right. Um, I was just wondering, what are your thoughts on the whole war that's currently happening? It's really stupid. And, and can, can I ask you, do, do you support either side or... or um, are, are you kind of undecided on... I'm trying to figure out who I'm actually working for. Oh, okay. Well, I, I want to say thank you for your time, sir. And, you know, it's nice meeting you, and I'll let you go on your way. Thanks for your time. Any whereabouts on a guy in a black trench coat? I haven't seen anyone. I'm sorry. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Gentlemen. Uh, uh, How can how's I help it going, you? guys? Hi, we're, we're with ZNN News. ZNN. It's, it's nice to meet you. Um, we're just kind of going around doing some interviews. We're wondering um, what you guys' kind of 
opinions on, on the war currently? My opinions are we win. All right, so, so I take it the war's been going good in your favor so far then? It's been so-so. All right. I mean, no war is easily won. It's more than just guns and bullets. It's hearts and minds and morale. Well said, We're sir. We're doing our best to keep that up. Have you guys seen much action in this part of the country? Not much. A couple technicals here and there, but nothing big. All right. Well, I'm going to let you get back to your job. I don't want to interrupt you too much. All right. So, so thanks for your time, it. sir. You're free to it's wander nice through here, you. but it's a dangerous zone. We've got opposition up the hill, so I would keep an eye out. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. Thank you. Have a nice day. You too. You still rolling? Yeah. Okay. It looks like right now that these guys have this area pretty well barricaded up. Um, it, it looks like they have it really well fortified. It looks like they're expecting quite an attack here right now. Everyone's giving us nasty looks. Yeah. I don't, I don't know if we're exactly welcome here, but they, they don't seem to be hostile towards us, so that's a, that's a good thing. Hi, Mom. Smile, guys. You, you're on ZNN News. Yay. Woo! Woo! Coalition for the win. The only old zombie news channel. Hey, what's going on over here? We rock your Making a lot of money. <laughs> That's the funniest thing. Hey, we got some dead guys. <laughs> we got dead guys rolling in. Can I physically search you? Who cares? Yes, you may. Hey, look alive, guys. What's coming down? Do we have to? We've got a pocket knife. They, they, can they cleared us at first. Try, try and get this on film if you can still. This isn't going to end up on WikiLeaks, is it? Yeah, you're clear. Be careful out there. Right now you're in a hostile area, and I just want to make sure you're okay. No, I'm currently being searched. Looks like our coalition guys are moving out. Uh, it looks like they're going to have to put an assault out on someone. And it looks like they got some re more reinforcements in this area too. It looks like we're coming up upon a uh, disabled coalition vehicle with some wounded soldiers. It's a sad sight to see. And it, it looks like we even have a dead civilian in this area. It's a extremely sad to see the fighting come to this. And I think we just found the cause of that dead civilian and some of the dead soldiers. Up right ahead is the other army. It looks like they have an armored vehicle with them too. Looks like we have a civilian that's in a military custody. Um, we're not sure exactly what he's done. We uh, we just walked up on the scene, so uh, we're kind of going to be watching this, make sure nothing foul goes on. Uh, we do have a military vehicle right here guarding him. We're being asked to move, so we're, we're moving out of the way here. Uh, 
Okay, guys, I need uh, about two or three of you to escort him to Rebel. I think that, um, you want him escorted to Rebel? I think this is setup, dude. Hold I'm on. sorry, can you repeat that? Let's get over to Rebel. They've uh, been captured. Watch out, I got a movement up there. Up there. Okay. We are going to escort him to outside of Rebel Base. Over. Right now, it seems like the uh, coalition forces, they seem to be taking care of their wounded troops. They got just a few of them, and they're healing those guys up, keeping them safe. I was hired by the rebels to basically be a hired gun. So after sneaking my way over to Comp's Tower where no one had claimed or had left it abandoned, I claimed it as tan property. Well, a member of the UN opened fired without asking me to identify myself or giving me the chance to, just blindly fired onto me, injuring my shoulder. I, I really don't know what's going through those people's heads for them to blatantly fire on a guy who's clearly not marked at all. And, and did you show any aggression towards this green member? No. I didn't even notice him until he started firing. And, and did you have your weapon brandished at all, or did you have it away? Or? It was on my lap. All right. Well, I want to thank you for your time, sir, and thank you for the interview you gave us. You're and. Welcome. I hope your shoulder starts feeling better here soon. So do I. Once again, thanks, sir. Anytime. For the rebel forces, we were able to take some ground today. We were able to uh, get some of the vital supplies that we needed to continue our resistance against the coalition. For this, we're very thankful to God and very proud. But again, we could use your help, whoever you are, wherever you are, because we are outnumbered. Thank you.